How's it going, everybody? It's me, it's your friend, the Awkward Commentator. Let me actually move my microphone, that way it's facing me. Last, or welcome back to yet another episode of Crash Team Racing Nitro Fu Fuels. Last time on Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel, we actually finished up the Lost Ruins, and we got the purple CTR token and Rampage Ruins. This time we're going to be taking on Glacier Park. So what do you say we make our way over there and take on the first race? I'm actually not excited for this area at all because the, the boss of this area and one of my least favorite tracks in this area are right here. But you know what? We'll cross that bridge when we get there. First up is Blizzard Buff. Let's go. Bluff, not buff. Now this is the track that I was talking about before, where I had that one shortcut that I'm not sure how I actually managed to get, and I will point out where the shortcut is. Also, you want to be careful in this section right here because there is a giant ice boulder right here that could easily crush you. You guys have no idea how many times that has crushed me, but the shortcut right there, right, th right there. If you manage to get a really good boost and you jump at the right time, you can skip this entire portion right here and you'll end up right here. And I believe you can also do it right there too, you can hop over that fence on that hill right there. But I am not skilled enough to do any of this. I like to say that I'm, okay, I'm not like an expert at this track, but I like to say that I kind of know how to race on this track and I am pretty well at doing so because I always dominate. Then again, I'm not a Crash Team Racing competitive player and if there was a competitive player right here, he would probably be kicking my ass, but you know what? That's A-OK, -okay. I do not do, oh my god, I get paranoid every time I go around that section right there. What do you say we try to give this a freaking try? God damn it. It didn't work. Well, you never know until you try, and now I am in third place, and I am paying the price for my action, but that is A-OK. -okay. I got my 10 Wampa Fruit once again. It looks like, oh, ooh, they are going head-to-head -head over there, Jesus. The Tiger got hit, and then, oh, whoa. Man, they, those guys are not holding anything back. Man, how many missiles do you guys have? Also, I got a freaking blue balloon. Also, I'm so glad this is not the final lap. Take that, Cortex. Take that, Tiger. Anyone tries to pass me is going to get a fight. Whoa! I totally thought that missed. That looked like it actually went around him instead. Oh. No, 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 no! Good thing it. What? Where did my missile go? No. Do not lose this race, Dage. Whatever you do, do not lose this race. I will be so upset. Then again, even if I do lose the race, I'll just cut until I... This is what I get for being cocky. Come on, give me something good! Oh, go, 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 go! Yeah! Oh, God, look at how close we were! Oh, man, I would have cried if I actually lost that race. A sticker that means absolutely nothing to me that I am never gonna freaking use. So what do you say? We make our way to the second track. Please do not be my least favorite one right off the bat. It's... yep. Everybody introducing my least favorite track in this entire game. Dragon Mines. I don't want to do this track. But, I have to. We have no choice, so what do you say? We just get it over with. The soundtrack is pretty fire, but the track itself is just absolutely terrible. And there's one part, and one section of this track where the turning is just a... Uh, I was about to say abominable. No, not the abominable snowman. Uh oh, oh, oh! Ooh, ho, ho, ho. This area right here sucks. I hate this super tight turn, and yes, this is a boss stage, and I'm not looking forward to it because the boss of this area sucks! Wow. Wow. So don't expect me to win right off the bat, guys. I'm pro This is probably going to take a few tries. I totally thought Crash was right there, and I hit Crash. Oh, I got three of them. 
I did not realize that. Trash! Did I just get two of them? Did I just get two for the price of one grandma, as Trigger Conroy would always say? Dude! Hey, 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 hey! You state crash, I will crash! Urgh, come on! Oh, that turn! Good! Get crushed by the minecart, you frickin' ninny. Give me this. I got an idea. Let's go. Let's go Pikachu. Even though I prefer Eevee, I got Let's Go Eevee over Pikachu. If I were to do one of the Let's Go games, I probably would do Let's Go Pikachu. That way I could do the other the counterparts. Fun fact, I was originally actually going to do a playthrough of Pokemon Sword, if anybody remembers that. And I got up to episode 10, and then I stopped because, my god, it was a lot of work just for my third series, so... Or fourth series, so I just kind of put it down. And the reason for Pokemon Shield or Sword is because, well, I own a copy of Pokemon Shield and I want to do the opposite game that, the opposite version that I didn't get. So if I were to do Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go games, it would be Pikachu. Thank God we did that on one try. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ. Cortex tires. Not like I can customize anyway because we are doing classic mode and not nitro fueled mode. But our next track is all the way over here. Thank God we got freaking dragon mines out of the way. Oh, okay. What are you? Polar pass. This one's a lot of fun. It's probably my favorite of the bunch. Also, that polar bear on top, he just looks incredibly helpless. He just looks so stuck right there. Also, they start you off with four of those Wampa Fruit crates right off the bat. That is freaking amazing. And there's another one right here. Look at that. We already got all ten of our Wampa Fruit. So now we just got to focus on not getting hit and focus on the race. And again, we had to focus on the race anyway because there's it's just a trophy race. It's not like one of the challenges. I... You jerk among jerks. Ah! Whoa! Yo, okay. Don't fall, don't fall. Okay, there is something I want to do right here. I don't know if this actually counts as a shortcut, but I know that all the speedrunners do it. This right here! Oh man, if you actually manage to land that jump, you are golden. Dude! Okay, uh oh, oh. Don't get too cocky, don't get overly cocky, Ditch. You see what happens when you get overly cocky. Remember this, kids. Your victory is not guaranteed until you actually get the victory. Do not gloat, do not show off, because the moment you start doing either one of those, if not both, then you will lose the race or whatever competition you are a part of right now. Ah! Why did I sound like Jack from uh, Jack O'Gen? I sounded not I, not exactly like him, but kind of that scream right now just kind of reminded me of him. So, Jack, if you're watching this, let me know if that scream sounded like you. <laughs> I doubt he's actually watching this video, but... You know what? I'll just message him and be like, Hey, you're... I, um... Not really a cameo appearance, but hey, um... I need your opinion on something. I, I screamed, and I made note of you in a video, so if you can watch it and let me know. I'll just, like, send him the link and be like, You don't have to watch the full video, just watch this portion right here. Okay, as long as you have some sort of speed boost right there, you are able to jump over the wall right there. I was about to say grading, but I don't think that actually is a freaking grading. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got me a red potion that looks really good to drink because it looks like it's cherry, and I love cherry-flavored stuff. Cherries are the best fruit ever. Change my mind. Or you actually, you can't change my mind. I love cherries so freaking much. Cherry-flavored anything is just really good. Cherry-flavored Kool-Aid. Cherry-flavored cherry Powerade. Honestly, Fruit Punch Powerade would go sounds good. Juice in general just sounds really good right now. You know what? I might actually go to the freaking store after this recording session. I'm gonna buy me some freaking juice. Because the grocery store usually has pretty good sales on juice. They have it like for like two... They like, they're like come in cartons and that's usually two for four dollars. And I'm like, you know what? Shut up and take my money. I did make some Kool-Aid the other day. I had cherry flavored Kool-Aid in my little big jug. 
or a pitcher, no, it's not a pitcher, it's like a jug of sorts. But it's really good. I, it's really freaking good. Then again, it's good to me. I may have added too much sugar, but you know what? Who cares? No one else is going to drink the Kool-Aid but me, so... I ha I don't invite anybody over to my place anymore. So ever since Bailey moved, I have no reason to invite other people over, because Bailey was the one friend that I hang out with a lot, and now that he's gone... I have no reason to invite people now. Cortex red paint job, not bad. And now for the final track before we have to take on the boss. Whoopee, I, I totally missed it. It is right here. Hello. Ooh, that looks pretty ominous, not gonna lie. Tiny arena. Ooh, perfect. I did not realize that this track was part of the part of this area right here. This right here is probably my favorite track, maybe in the entire game, because Tiny Arena is freaking phenomenal. It's just so much freaking fun, dude. Also, out of all these ice glacier, out of all these ice tracks that are currently in this area, we have the one track that's literally just like an arena, like kind of like Wario Stadium or yeah, Wario Stadium while Luigi Stadium from Mario Kart. We just have this. We go from slip sliding on ice physics to just having the time of our lives inside Tiny Arena. This is probably one of the longer tracks in the game, if not the longest track in the game, I'm not entirely sure. But it does take quite a while for you to... Oh god, what the hell is happening there? But it does take quite a while for you to actually complete a lab there. Coco is right behind me. Is she? Hmm, well... Hey, let's go! That was like perfectly timed. I don't have any Wumper Fruit, dude. Seven Wumper Fruit out of that one crate? Okay, ooh, there's another one. Yes, gotcha. Alright, we are good. As long as we maintain this lead, get out of the mud, or as Dashy usually called it, well, he calls it Donkey Dookie whenever he's on Excite Bike Arena and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is, honestly, he needs to play Mario Kart 8 again. It's been a while since he's done a video on that. I miss seeing all the highlights, I miss seeing the Dashy Mario Kart videos, but I'm sure he'll play it at some point. I'm sure he'll play it again at some point in the future. Also, whoa, we're going from this really exciting track right here to the boss after this, and... Uh, please, Lord, be with me on this boss. I'm gonna ask you to take the wheel once we get to him because I'm not looking forward to this. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be the depressed commentator again, like I was in that one episode. I literally titled that episode. It was episode seven of Shadow of Colossus, the original series. I literally called it the depressed commentator because. So what happened was, it was like literally day two or three of getting my capture card in my laptop and I was recording Shadow of the Colossus. I recorded so many videos at once because I was so excited. And I had to redo the game three or four times because every time I got the, the seventh Colossus, his name is Hy Hydrus or Hydra, one of the two, something happened with like my audio and I just had to restart the game. And with Shadow of the Colossus, Shadow of the Colossus doesn't have like save files. I mean, it does, but it doesn't have multiple save files. So I literally had to keep replaying the game over and over again to get back to the point to where I was. Eventually, it got I had a successful recording, but my god, just having to do that over and over again, I was not a happy camper around that time. Also, look at how far ahead I am. Jesus, I mean, this is Tiny Arena, so he's got to dominate on his own course, right? Then again, it's like in Mario Kart, where Bowser barely dominates on his own course. And again... They have so many tracks in Mario Kart that are named after certain characters that they don't even dominate on their own track, and it's kind of kind of funny. Both kind of sad and kind of funny at the same time. Oxide Station? What is Oxide doing here? This is my arena. Oh, is it just like advertisement right there? That's pretty cool. Yeah, there it is again. Oxide Station. Turbo Track. Does that say... What did that say? Tiger Temple? Wow. This is much... Tiny better be getting some good money out of this if he's advertising all these freaking tracks for everybody. But yeah, regardless, Shadow of the Colossus, first series, not really, first series with the capture card, day two, did not go as that well. I mean, it went well, 
But my god, did it take a while for me to actually get going. But now, we are here a year later. I know what I'm doing to a degree. I'm hopefully going to be getting like a new recording set up pretty soon. So I'm honestly looking forward to that. And maybe a new editing software too. Apparently, that they did not like that idea of me trying to get a new editing software. But that's okay. 